Bruce is offended by you guys. He sees those comments. I would love a Kane Corsa, but they just drool so much. I'm here to tell you, you may be misinformed with your thoughts on Kane Corsa and drooling. So in today's short video, we're gonna answer do Kane Corsa's drool. But not until you subscribe to the channel, like the video, ring my ding so you don't miss any of the newest videos on Kane Corsa or Bruce Wayne. Speaking of, let's get big guy over here and see how bad he drools. Bruce Wayne, let's go. Good boy, buddy. There he is, come here. Good set. Can, can we sit? Yeah. Can, can I just have like a little bit? Just, there we go, good boy. These people think you drool a ton. Now I have treats up there that we just recently bought because he loves these and I hardly ever give them to him, but I want you to see how he drools. This is an extreme, and I'm already getting wet. I'll put my leg there so you can see it. This is an extreme amount of drool, okay? You see that drool? I'm gonna move. Okay, I'm gonna put it right here. You can leave it. Now, that's about the only time he drools. Now, the shape of the face, okay, the jowls. The bigger the jowls, the more the drool. He is staring at that thing. <laughs> yeah, I know you want it. No, nope, not yet. So, the average kind of corsal does not have oversized jowls. They don't hang down super bad. And that's where you're gonna get a lot of your drool. So, as you can see, he's looking at the tree. I said it on the lens right now, and he is drooling. Yeah, he's like, can I have that treat, please? Um, he wa should I just give it to him while it's on the lens? Bruce, okay, okay. And I'm gonna sh quickly show you the amount of drool from that. There is a big mound of drool right there. He's basically standing in it. It's all over the floor. I don't know if it's coming across on camera right now, but there is a lot of drool. Now, on average, he drools when he really wants a treat, like, like the treat I put again on the camera, because I just want him to drool throughout this entire video, right? And then he drools, he may drool if he's nervous, but it's not the same kind of drool. Like right now, he's just nonstop salivating. Those taste buds, his tongue, is just salivating, salivating. Now, if he goes to the vet and he happens to be nervous, which he's really good at the vet, but sometimes, especially these dogs, they're, they're like skittish sometimes. And even, even a very socialized Corso, you know, they, they could be a little skittish, they could get a little bit nervous, and you'll start to see drool. He'll drool, obviously, if, if he has a stomach ache, um, which is rare, but, and then if he drinks a bunch of water, it's not drool, but yes, it's gonna leave a mess because he does have some jowls on him. They're bigger than like a golden retriever, but they're not the size of like an English Mastiff jowl. Now, the bigger the jowls, every Kane Corso is built different. So if you happen to have a Kane Corso or pick a Kane Corso with overemphasized jowls, yes, it's gonna drool more than average. But the typical Kane Corso does not drool that much. For you neat freaks out there, yes, they drool a little bit. And that's not a deal, but when he, so if he's drooling and then he shakes his head to get rid of the drool, what do you think happens? Yes, it ends up on the walls, it ends up on the carpet, ends up on the furniture, but it's not like this thing, like with other dogs that drool like a St. Bernard, another example, like a St. Bernard, that's just constantly drooling. And I've heard stories of people having to clean up their ceiling because there's so much drool in the ceiling. They don't drool a ton, you can see this because he really wanted that treat. Everyone out there on the fence because of the drooling, I really wouldn't worry about the drooling too much because it's really, it's, it's almost a non-issue, right bro? The channel is growing so fast and like Bruce and I are just like so ecstatic. We appreciate all the love and support guys. I'm always talking about training courses down below because I just feel training is like so not looked upon highly enough. Everyone's worried about, what do I feed my dog? Or how do I get my dog to stop peeing? And, and how do I get this? And it's, it's training just so important for every aspect of your dog. It's important for their happiness. Like these guys want, they wanna to be told what to do. They don't wanna to have to make the decisions, okay? They are gonna start making decisions unless you're a proper leader. All the courses down below, there's a raw course, there's a puppy course, and there's a canine boot camp, which teaches you how to be a better leader, so, like I was with Bruce, 
Um, so you can get this kind of temperament. You can get this kind of bond with your dog. We just so much appreciate the love and support, guys. I get a small commission on, on the courses, so I thank you guys for everyone that's purchased. Everyone that's purchased the t-shirts, I don't have one on now. I have, everyone's always commenting on my t-shirts, and a lot of these, this is a Halloween t-shirt. Um, my wife and I go to Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Studios every single October. Um, we're huge Halloween nerds, okay? We love horror movies, my wife and I. We love everything Halloween. We love haunted houses. So this will be, if it's open, our 13th year in a row going to Halloween Horror Nights. We always buy the t-shirt. That's what you usually see me wearing. Just a little side note. Again, we appreciate all the love and support. Hope you guys enjoyed this short video. Don't forget to do all the things. Like, subscribe, ring my ding a -ling, and we will see you guys next time. Peace. And you know what? I'm gonna let Bruce have that treat. Bruce, okay? Here. You can have it. Good boy. He's so gentle he knocked it off. He didn't want to lick the lens. All right, guys. Peace.